What up, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. We've got an update from AT&T and FirstNet. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with the FirstNet services, it is a network um, a network priority access from AT&T, and uh, they're getting their first taste of full 5G access. All right, this is pretty cool. Uh, we knew that they were getting close to announcing this and giving the 5G access to FirstNet, we knew it was close, and it finally happened, so here's our official announcement. Uh, Ten cities are getting 5G access now on FirstNet. This will be the N5 low-band 5G access, and I think also the DSS. So both of that would be, you know, sub-6 gigahertz. Uh, in terms of the cities, we've got Austin, Charlotte, Cleveland. That's awesome because I'm going to test it for you guys, and we'll do some coverage. Uh, Dallas, El Paso, Houston. San Antonio was mentioned, Knoxville, Phoenix, and Raleigh, North Carolina. So AT&T doesn't have band 5 in the CLE. That must mean that, in my case, it's going to be N2, where they DSS the 5G and the LT together. I'll be testing this hopefully very soon and get some coverage for you guys. Uh, let me do a little bit of homework on the axis, what it's going to be and how it's going to perform. I'll do some filming. I'll produce some videos for you guys, and you'll check it out. Uh, the original beta testing was completed in Houston, Texas. Of course, they've had 5G Plus as an option when you sign up for service or you can change your plan on the FirstNet website. Uh, I do believe that the 5G Plus millimeter wave became available earlier this year. And um, as a millimeter wave update, they did add two more cities uh, recently, and then they added 20 more venues, and they're going to do that by the end of the year. So uh, FirstNet is AT&T's first responder network access. It is a priority access with preemption over consumer access totally separate network core independent of the traditional AT&T network core so it is unique in terms of the access a unique 5G network core as well that's under under work and um, you know it is it is responder centric right it's all about coverage it's all about reliability with that being the emphasis on public safety which in my estimation is why they you know gave it the 5G access a little bit later kind of get it out of beta testing make sure that it works well with the network core and, uh, you know, you just you can't leave anything to uncertainty when it comes to first responders and public safety. So a lot riding on it. And that's why I think they took this long. But very cool. Very good to know. Just an update for you guys. Keep you in the know and, and keep you updated. So if you appreciated this, uh, you know, let me know by liking this video and sharing it to your socials. And uh, maybe you want to drop me a line and comment below what you think about the announcement, uh, if it's available in your area, if you have FirstNet access, if you're excited about this, or if you qualify and you were thinking about it or maybe didn't pull up the trigger until you got 5G access, now this might be the time. So let me know down in the comment section what you think of this. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more SMT content. Activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all in the next video. Peace. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.